to meet the new class. Yes? Let's say hi to all our new students. Hi, me. Hi, Kamala. Welcome back, Marcelo. Good morning, Max. Hey there, Mattel. Hi, Sarah, and thank you for being here, Fernanda. Thank you for watching us. Thank you for uh, being patient. Yes? Today, you already know we start always with our prayer. Yes? So, today is not the exception. You already know that we need three things to pray. Yes? Can you tell me what? We need our hands, we need our eyes, and we need a thankful heart, ¿ok? Ya saben que siempre empezamos nuestro día orando y que hay tres elementos que no nos pueden faltar en nuestra oración, que son nuestras manos, nuestros ojos y un corazón agradecido. So, hands together and close your eyes. Thank you, Father, for a new day. Take care of us, take care of my family, let me grow healthy, and let me learn a lot. Okay, okay como ya saben, pues solamente oramos por, eh, para que Dios nos cuide, y nos permita que sea santo fuerte, y nos permita aprender siempre. Okay, today is Wednesday, we are on Wednesday, it's the half of the week, yes? And let's make a review about the days of the week. Yes? You know that we have seven days on the week. And we start on Monday. Then we have Tuesday. Then we have Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, okay? It's the half of the week. Then we have Thursday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yes, very, very good. Okay, we're going to start our morning routine asking you a very important question. Yes? We're going to talk about our emotions. How do you feel today? Today we can feel happy. Hoy nos podemos sentir felices. Or we can feel sad. Can you make a sad face? Or we can feel sleepy. Or, and there are many reasons to feel like this. And remember, we are learning to deal with our emotions. Yes, because we have a lot of emotions and we are learning to deal with them. Okay, estamos aprendiendo a manejar nuestras emociones, sí, y tenemos muchas emociones y hay muchas razones por las cuales nos podemos sentir así, nos podemos sentir felices, nos podemos sentir tristes, nos podemos sentir con sueñito o nos podemos sentir enojados. But remember, when you feel mad or you feel like you have a bad attitude, you have to breathe. Y recuerda, cada vez que te sientes que tienes una mala actitud, hay que respirar. Yes? And you will keep calm. Y te vas a mantener con calma. Okay. Remember also to wash your hands. This is a uh, very good advice. Yes? Remember you always have to wash your hands. You have to brush your teeth. Yes? Every single day, three times. At the day you have to brush your teeth. Tres veces al día te tienes que lavar los dientes. Y, and you have to take a shower. You have to take a shower, yes? In order to feel clean and good with yourself. Para poder sentirte bien y limpio contigo mismo. And we're going to watch a video about taking a shower, okay? Vamos a ver un video de lo que es bañarse. Hi kids, are you ready for a brand new ride from Kids Edge? Sing along! This is the way 
way we take our bath take our bath take our bath this is the way we take our bath early in the morning this is the way we take our bath take our bath take our bath this is the way we take our bath early in the morning This is the way we rub our soap rub our soap rub our soap This is the way we rub our soap early in the morning This is the way we rub our soap rub our soap rub our soap This is the way we rub our soap early in the morning This is the way we wipe ourselves wipe ourselves wipe ourselves this is the way we wipe ourselves early in the morning this is the way we wipe ourselves wipe ourselves wipe ourselves this is the way we wipe ourselves early in the morning Así que aprendimos en este video que tempranito en la mañana nos tenemos que bañar para poder sentirnos bien, yes? Ok, very good. Now we're going to uh, talk about the topic of this week. The, do, do you remember the topic of this week? It's the numbers, yes? We're, we're talking about the numbers. We're going to learn to count to 1 to 10, yes? Este, este es semana vamos a hablar de los números y hablamos de que vamos a contar del 1 al 10. Let's make a fast review. Count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. We have 10 fingers. Yes, and you also count with your fingers. 1. Hey there, welcome back to Storytime TV. I'm Karen, Peyton's mom, and today I'll be reading The Crayons Book of Numbers from the creators of the number one best-selling The Day the Crayons Quit. Have you read that story? We actually haven't read that one, but we have read The Day the Crayons Came Home or something like that. That's a good one too. By Drew Daywalt and Oliver Jeffers. Duncan's 10 crayons have gone missing. Can you help find them for him and count along the way? One crayon. Start coloring inside the lines. Two crayons. I like coloring crocodiles. Three crayons. I am the true color of the sun. Four crayons. Don't listen to yellow crayon. I am the true color of the sun. Five crayons. I'm tired of being called light brown. It says beige. 
six crayons. Could you please use me sometime to color in a dinosaur? Some crayons. Being the favorite color can be tough sometimes. Eight crayons. I need a rest. Nine crayons. I can do more than just outline things. Ten crayons. Elephants are a big space to color all by myself. Hooray! You've found all ten of Duncan's crayons. Duncan and his crayons are very happy. That was a super cute short story. Did you like it? Do you like very to good. color with... We are going to take a piece and we are going to work like this, okay? We are going to make a line. Then we are going to trace the number four. Yes, like this. Remember we are learning so uh, we are not hoping to be perfect, okay? Estamos aprendiendo y no estamos esperando que sea perfecto. I'm going to take another piece to make these circles. We have one, two, three, and four. We put it to the table. And then we use our fingers. It's important to use our fingers. This is the number one. I take another piece. Yes. And I do the same thing. I make this ball and I put it here. Then with my fingers, I'm going to use it. Okay, very good. One, two. I have the number three and the number four here. I take another piece of Play-Doh. Yes. And I make the same. I make a bow. And I'm going to put it on, on this circle. I use my fingers. And the last one. I take another piece of Play-Doh. 
Yes. I make a ball and I put it on this circle. Excellent. So that's our first activity. Yes. Very good. Now we're going to make our second activity of the day. So we are going to take our worksheet, yes, and we're going to read instructions. Count and trace with paper, add some color to the, to the frogs, okay? Vamos a cortar, sí, papelitos, porque los vamos a pegar aquí, y vamos a agregarle color a nuestras ranitas, yes? Can you show me how does the frog jump? Yes, can you make it like a frog? Like this? Yes, can you make it? Okay. Now we're going to make our second activity. First, we need some uh, paper. Yes, I have this paper. I asked for help to cut them. And I have this little piece of papers. You have to take the piece of paper and make a bowl. Yes. Take another one and you use your special fingers. Show me your special fingers. And you make another bowl. Okay. Another time. I take my special fingers and I make another bowl yes you have to use your special fingers tenemos que usar nuestros dedos especiales tomamos un pedazo de papel así y lo hacemos bolita, 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 bolita. very good now help me to trace the number two okay we need our glue stick yes I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to put it on the number two. Because how many frogs do, do we have here? One, two. We have two frogs. Then I take my paper and I paste it. Another one and I paste it. Yes, you're going to trace the number two with the papers you already cut. Vamos a trazar nuestro número 2 con los papeles que ya cortamos. Remember, you have to ask for help. Yes? When you cut something, you have to ask for help to mommy or daddy. Cuando cortemos algo, tenemos que decirle a mamá y a papá que nos ayude. Because it could be dangerous. Porque puede ser peligroso, ¿ok? So we have to be careful. Tenemos que ser cuidadosos. Okay, now with tracer number two, I'm going to take my crayon, okay? My green crayon, and I'm going to add some colors to the frog. Very good. What color I'm using? I'm using the color, what color? Can you tell me? Color green. I use color green for the number two and color green for the frogs. Very good. Now we already have our work here. Yes. So I hope you enjoy it. We're going to make it fast for you about the numbers. Count with me, okay? One, two, three, four, five. So long now, so long now. till next time, yes, it was so nice.
nice to have you 